career score under the sun here in this outdoor venue. This is one of those places where if you can fight, if you know you can fight, you don't need a crowd, you don't need anything apart from that opponent in the opposite corner. And we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. The courage on display here is incredible. Neither one of them wants this to go to the judges' scorecards. did more work in the gym. That's what it might come down to, considering how hot and humid it is today. In such heat, the corner men need to be able to do their job. Think about what they're doing. Want to cool you down, want to ice your back, want to give you instructions in your head, and want to just calm you to tell you what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. Because that's the most important thing. Forget about the heat. Forget about everything else. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. That left counter was perfectly timed. Left punch. Two were made for each other. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on the fight. What do we expect to see here in round two? <laughs> Counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. If you're fighting to the counter punch you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punches, they're watching you, watching you every move, that every drill. He missed with that jab. I've seen in any round, anywhere this year. What a shot that put him down. Will he make it back to his feet? One, two, three, four, five. Through the hook, didn't land. Nice exchange here from both men. His jab just got blocked. It looks like he's gonna survive the round here, but just barely. This next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. On to the third. Keep an eye on this 
slugger, as you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. A win is not just a win for some fighters. They need to feel the blood, the crunch. They need to get that win. Neither man really defending himself. Misses with the left uppercut. Hey, those punches add up. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both of these fighters have the conditioning to go the distance, no problem. They also have the power to end this with one punch. Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, the certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable middleweight. score that left hand. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. He's a pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. As long as they don't get complacent. You think this is too easy. Back at it in round four. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots and they're coming at lightning speed. They score again with the left hand. Missed him with that uppercut. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Good one. Nice veteran move here to hold on to his opponent to slow down the momentum. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you-know-who. I seriously hope that you... Here's the bell to start round five. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get denser. one lands. Good left hand. He 
hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Just avoids the left uppercut. Just when you thought we'd see a lull in the action, here we go again. Just misses that uppercut. And he misses with that jab. Both men step back for just a moment. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. Dominance without a doubt. There's the bell to start round six. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power. And I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything. So his offense gets stifled there by a clinch. That's another scoring shot. He misses with that jab. It's all offense all the time. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there, they want you to stand there, come to throw them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their up, get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't walk. Some nice exchanges for both men in this round. Wait a minute, he caught him clean. Oh my word, down goes RJJ. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you're out. What happened, you saw it here live. A knockout win. Congratulations. That is going to be one of those what happened next shots. Where did it come from? How did he land? He didn't, he didn't, he didn't get knocked down. He got knocked out. I didn't mean out, out.